We haven't had any stinkers yet. I mean, well, this one I feel like is not really a stinker either. Oh, I mean, same. it's very easy to explain. It's a ladies with white wine genre of filmmaking. <laughs> it's a lot of women sitting around with significantly sized glasses of white wine. <laughs> and if you are not also holding a significantly sized glass of white wine, you may feel a little put out. <laughs> Were you? A little bit. I think I did have a glass of wine, though, but it was, but a it was small rosé. Wine. It was a it small rosé, and it so didn't quite... you've made quite... a mistake there, haven't you? Yeah. So the film is about this book club but between four women who are this supreme quartet of actresses. You have Diane Keaton, Jane Fonda, Candice Bergen, and Mary Steenburgen. It's like the rom-com supergroup, essentially. Mm. And so they've been together. They've been friends for decades. This book club has been around for decades. And they're now sort of roughly in their 60s, 70s. And they've all taken slightly different paths. Diane Keaton is a widow, has these daughters who are just really fretting over her and trying to get her to give up her independence and go live in their basement in Scottsdale, Arizona, which I grew up near Scottsdale. It's not the the best thing that could happen to you in life. Uh, Jane Fonda is a hotelier who never married, but she comes across an old flame played by Don Johnson. Candice Bergen is a federal judge who has basically given up on the prospect of dating and relationships. And Mary Steenburgen is married to a character played by Craig T. Nelson, but their sex life is pretty non-existent. And so we have a clip of what the kind of vibe of this movie okay. is. My son is engaged and my husband is in Maui with a tartlet named Cheryl. Oh, I need a drink. Your husband? You can't possibly still care about what Tom is doing. I don't care. But the guy gets seasick in a swimming pool. I mean, what the hell was he doing in Maui? Sounds like he's doing Cheryl in Maui. Oh, please. <laughs> Who gets involved in a relationship at 67? I mean, what is the point? So... Into that, you throw E.L. James's Fifty Shades of Grey and they all go on their own path of discovery, which, but really the book plays such an unessential part to the film. I still don't understand what Fifty Shades of Grey is all about and why people are so crazy about it from this film. But I think on its own, it still works as a very kind of breezy, smart Mm rom-com. The jokes are very kind of eyebrow raise innuendo, but, you know, they're not also willfully dumb or trying to patronise the audience. There's a pretty good joke about Werner Herzog and the Cave of Forgotten Dreams, which I... (laughs) Will not explain. <laughs> but yeah, I think I think it, it's very much what it is. It's the ladies with white wine movie. So right. there you go.